Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to get started with the hidden wiki. All right, so you might be asking yourself what exactly is the hidden wiki? The hidden wiki. All right, so the hidden wiki is essentially the Tor version of Wikipedia and you can you know you can use it to find services or sites that you're interested in. All right? So essentially the site uh lists all the hidden uh, onion sites and uh essentially will list all of them and will sort all of them depending on the type of service or the type of sites they are. So for example, you have introduction points, you have editors picks, financial services, uh, you have, you know, your hosting links, etc, etc. All right. So it's a fantastic starting point for you. And um, uh, you might be asking what, yourself, what exactly is the link? Well, I'll be posting the link in the resources section. So you can check that out after this video. And uh, furthermore, I, uh, you can also just search for the hidden wiki through the DuckDuckGo search engine. All right. That being said, let's have a quick overview of the hidden wiki and how and why it's so helpful. All right, so by default, it is a very, very well designed website, as you can see here. Uh, again, its main purpose is to sort and to display all the hidden services uh, or the hidden uh, links on the deep web on, or on the dark web for that matter. All right, so as you can see, uh, the editor, you have your editor's picks where you have uh, some fantastic websites that I would recommend that you get started re with reading. For example, uh, The Matrix, I'm pretty sure you already know what that is about, how to exit The Matrix. That involves learning how to protect yourself and your rights online and off. And then finally, uh, you have a very good read here uh, regarding to PGP signatures. All right. So a short and simple how to guide. Excellent read there. So I'd really recommend that. All right. So uh, as you can see, you then have your introduction points where we have the uh, Amaya search and the Amaya search engine, the DuckDuckGo search engine, Bitcoin fog. Uh, so again, that is to deal with Bitcoin an anonymization taken seriously. Now you will be given notices depending on whether or not the site is currently uh, up and running. And as you can see, the Bitcoin fog is currently down as of 2017 and 18. All right. You then have your uh, Tor links, which is essentially uh, Tor links that are moderated uh, for replacement for the hidden wiki. So these are you an extra repository of links. You have the Torch search engine. Right. You then have your hidden wiki, which is essentially um, the, the, a mirror of the hidden wiki. You have the not evil search engine and finally the self-defense surveillance guide. So these are all fantastic introduction points. And the reason I'm showing you how to use the hidden wiki is because it really is a great place to get started with understanding, you know, the types of sites that actually exist and actually understanding that, you know, the deep web or the dark web for that matter is really a, a very robust uh, a very robust environment in the sense that you have all types of sites with, uh, you know, providing different services. So again, you can look at the financial services this where you can find the different sites. Now, again, I do need to throw out caution that some of these are not going to be legal, or of course, because they involve, you know, counterfeiting, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, again, I'm not going to demonstrate any of that. My, uh, the purpose of this video is to show you all the, uh, the sections in which you can get started from. You then have your commercial services that involve, uh, you know, uh, different stuff like betting sites, uh, iCloud Unlock, um, you know, um, driver's licenses, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I'm not going to go into all of that because there is quite a, a bit to look at. Uh, as for the domain services, you have some fantastic domain, uh, do domain name searches you can perform here where you can essentially uh, you, you can buy domain names or, you know, the, the ones that you feel are appropriate for your site. If you choose to create and host a deep website, uh, as for the anonymity and security, you can, you have uh, it sorted out into mixing services, anonymity, security, privacy. So you can go ahead and look at that again for your hosting web file or images. You have your hosting links, which is currently one. I would recommend that you check that out if you're interested in that. You have your email messaging. So we looked at Proton Mail and a few others. Uh, and as you can see, there are plenty more that you can, you can look at and you can use and you can, you know, find what works the best for you. You then have, uh, you then have, you know, your social network. So you have Galaxy 2, Facebook, which is the, um, essentially the real Facebook's onion domain. So essentially it's Facebook's, uh, way of saying, you know what? We are also here on the deep web. And again, uh, as you can see, there's some little, a small amount of information here, uh, saying claim, claims not to keep logs. Trust them at your own peril. All right. So essentially what's happening here is Facebook has their own dark web Facebook link. Uh, and essentially they claim not to keep any logs of your, you know, of your activity. And there's a small disclaimer telling, uh, telling us to trust Facebook at our own peril. Right. So make sure you really understand what that means. 
Um, as for, you know, uh, you have money book, a dark web, Facebook for money. You know, there's a lot of stuff on the deep web or the dark web. Uh, and finally, you have your forums, your WikiLeaks, which is uh, quite interesting uh, as well. You can go ahead and check that out. So I can just open that up in the next link. So we'll let that load while we look at this. You then have your hack freak, uh, anarchy, you know, where's viruses, cracks, all of that good stuff videos and movies and so on and so forth. Now I'm not going to continue all the way down because uh, the content or the sites that are listed are, you know, of uh, explicit nature or, or, you know, of nature that is not suitable for me to show you. But irregardless of that, uh, the hidden wiki is a fantastic starting point that can really point you in the direction that you want to go, whatever that direction is. Again, I'm going to pass out, you know, some caution that you, you know, please uh, navigate the sites uh, that you want to visit with caution. And again, do not click any random site that you do not know, uh, you know, uh, you don't know what it contains or is not, uh, does not have a title. That's why I would recommend for all the beginners that you start off with the hidden wiki because all the sites are verified and they it gives you a, a description of what the site is. So the site is genuine and does what it says. All right. So, you know, clicking on links on onion links that you're not sure of is a, you know, it's, it's really not a good way of exploring it unless you, you know what you're doing exactly. All right, so as you can see, we have WikiLeaks here and uh, WikiLeaks submission upload. So you can actually submit, uh, you know, some information here that you want leaked, uh, but we're not going to be doing that today. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to introduce you to the hidden wiki. The link will be in the resources section, or you can go ahead and use a search engine like DuckDuckGo that works both on the clear net and the dark net. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.